The movie begins with a boy named Emil and his father having an argument in the middle of a traffic jam. He has enough of his father and jumps out of the car and walks off. Francois quickly goes after him and as they approach an ambulance, they see it shaking violently which worries them. Suddenly, some kind of creature jumps out and lands on the bonnet of the car. Francois grabs his son and ducks for cover. We then see officers trying to detain the creature and put it back in the ambulance but it is too strong. It kicks off the officers and runs away. People waiting in the traffic are horrified by what they have just seen. Sometime later, we see Emile and his father arrive at a hospital to see Emile's mother. That's when it is revealed that she is also mutating into a creature and is being treated there. People all over the country are mutating into creatures and government authorities don't know what to do about it. More and more cases are being reported every day and the creatures are becoming increasingly violent. The government has decided to capture all the animals to keep them away from the public. They are sedated and studied to try and find a cure. Most of the public are worried about being infected and want the creatures locked up. Emile is reluctant to see his mother, she scratched him on his face and now he is scared of her. The doctor explains to them that a new advanced facility has opened nearby and Lana needs to be transferred there so she can receive the best treatment. Francois quickly agrees as he wants them all to move to another area where they can all get on with their lives. Later, they go to see Lana in her room and notice scratches all over the walls, Emile thinks it is a complete waste of time and believes she no longer understands anything. A few weeks later, they all move to their new home and Emile starts a new school. When he gets introduced to his new class, he lies to everyone and tells them his mother is dead, when asked about the scar on his face, he tells them he was struck by lightning. That evening, there is a huge storm and the power goes out in the town, Emile is woken up by the noise of lightning and decides to have a look out of the window. Suddenly, he sees some kind of creature staring at him which scares him. When Francois turns the power back on, the creature disappears. The next morning, Francois receives an emergency call and a worried look comes over his face. He rushes to the local lake where we see that the police and fire department have sealed off the area. During the night, the ambulance that was transferring the creatures to the new facility slipped off the road and crashed into the lake. Francois sees the police pulling bodies out of the lake and begins freaking out and fears the worst. Half of the creatures have died and half have escaped into the forest. He shouts for his wife while the police hold him back. Officer Julia comes over and assures him that his wife's body has not been found. She tells him that she is probably somewhere in the forest and sends him home. Next, we see Francois hanging some of their clothes on the trees around their house, hoping that their scent will guide Lana home. The next day at school, the gym teacher organizes a game of tug and war. As they pull, Emile's whole team fall onto the floor but surprisingly, he is the only one left standing. His teammates are shocked and quickly get up to help. They win the game and afterwards, the boys come up to him and can't believe how strong he is. Emil sees some things on his hands and runs home. He rushes back and pulls something out from under his nails as he screams out in pain. To his horror, he discovers some small claws and realizes that he is mutating into a creature. He freaks out and checks out his back and is shocked when he sees his bones sticking out. Emil gets angry and is ashamed of transforming. He jumps into the bath and tries to scrub himself clean. Sometime later, we see his father go to the mall where he bumps into Julia. She informs him that the search party has been called off as the government are going to send in the military to take over. All of a sudden, they hear screams and see some commotion. There is a mutant running wild in the mall and Julia tells everyone to get out. Francois ignores her and runs after it thinking it may be his wife. The creature turns out to be a squid mutant who is only after some food. When it realizes it has been seen, it makes a run for it while chucking things at Julia. She manages to catch it up and tackles it to the ground. Meanwhile, Francois sees another mutant which is clearly scared, he decides not to say anything and walks off. The next day, Emil goes to a party with his new friends and while they are sitting around a table, he begins feeling sick from all the alcohol. When he falls off his seat, a girl called Nina helps him up but Emil begins licking her arm which the rest of them find gross. Emil gets very embarrassed and runs off into the woods where he hears the sounds of other mutants. The next morning, he wakes up to the noise of a boat passing, 
he finds blood in his mouth and spits out a feather. He realizes that he is transforming more and more into a mutant and must have ate a bird last night. He and his father decide to go into the forest to look for Lana even though it is dangerous. Emil is worried about transforming and asks his father how he felt about Lana changing. He tells him he was never worried as she was still his wife. Nighttime falls and they carry on driving around screaming out for Lana hoping she will hear them. Later, they fall asleep in the car and wake up the next morning. To his horror, Emil sees that his nails are growing. Suddenly his dog runs off into the forest and Emil chases after him. He sees a mutant boy climbing up a tree and from nowhere, he flies down and begins attacking Emil. When the man looks into Emil's eyes, he sees that he is also a mutant and freezes. Emil screams out and his father comes running over while the mutant looks on. They jump into the car and drive off. When his father insists on going to the hospital for his injuries, Emil freaks out and tells him he doesn't want to. They get into an argument and nearly crash the car. The road ahead has been closed off. Julia tells them that a mutant bit one of the officers and so Francois asks for a favor. The army nurse gives Emil a few stitches and tells him he was bitten by a dog. Later when they get home, we see Emil removing some of the stitches and licking his wounds. During class, Emil begins acting weird as he is mutating. He is distracted by the ferrets making noise behind him and he shouts at them. The class are confused and just stare at him. On the way home, he has trouble riding his bike but Nina helps him get to her house. Sometime later, he goes for a swim in the lake and catches a fish. He is seen by the neighbor but then he suddenly sees the mutant bird man. He tries to fly but keeps falling down, he leaves the fish for him to eat and learns that his name is Fix. He sees that he has a lot of injuries all over his body from falling while trying to fly. He leads him to the lake and tells him he will be safer learning there. Later on the way home, he is unable to ride his bike, he leaves it in the forest and tells his father it was stolen when he gets in. Later, we see Francois working at a bar and when he takes out the garbage, he is suddenly attacked by a mutant. He pushes him onto the floor and is just about to bite him when a co-worker pushes the creature back with a stick. We then see another creature run into the woods. His co-worker tells him that the mutant is his relative and she has been keeping it there. While they talk, the mutant goes crazy and runs into the bar, everyone inside runs for their lives. Francois runs into the forest after the other creature as he thinks it could be his wife. He sees something in the distance which looks like a bear, it makes a noise before running off. The next day at lunch, Emile feels something in his mouth and suddenly spits out a tooth. His friends are grossed out but he tells them it was just a baby tooth. Later, he goes to visit the bird man who is still not able to fly properly. He takes off his bandages and is shocked by his face. The doctor's done a horrible job on removing his beak. That evening, Julia accompanies Francois to the forest to help him search for Lana. The police are everywhere so they have to be careful. They don't find her and are just about to return home when Francois finds Emile's bicycle. He is surprised by this and realizes something is wrong. When he gets home, he discovers the bathroom sink is clogged and when he investigates further, he finds loads of hair and some claws. That's when he finally realizes that his son is also transforming. That evening when Emil gets home, his father confronts him and shows him the claws and the bike. When Emil still denies everything, his father locks him up in the house. Emil tries running away but his father sees him, he chases after him and jumps on him sending him to the ground. His father hugs him tightly and has a breakdown. The next morning at breakfast, Emil eats from the bowl like a dog. His father gives him some of his wife's medicine to help him control his urges. He checks his mouth and sees that fangs are growing at the back of his mouth. He reminds his son to cut his nails every day and put some cotton wool in his ears. He tells him he has enhanced hearing and needs to protect his ears. Lastly, he gives him hair removal cream for his body so no one notices all the hair growth. The next day he goes to see Fix and discovers he can't talk anymore, he can only make bird sounds. Fix climbs up a tree and then jumps into the air and begins flying which amazes Emil. Later he goes to a festival in town but when his father sees him, he is very angry and tells him to go before anyone discovers what he is. Emil doesn't like this and they get into a fight. Emil instincts take over and he bites his dad on his shoulder. He gets up all confused and walks off while crying. 
Outside he bumps into Nina and they go for a walk. They soon end up kissing and when things go further, Nina discovers hair on his back with an extended spine. She tells him that she knows what he is and this doesn't stop her, she continues getting it on and after they are finished, they both head back to the festival. Emil goes to the bathroom but is followed by another boy, he tells him that he saw him in the field and has something in his hand. The little gadget makes a loud noise which only animals can hear, this sends a sharp pain in Emil's ear which he is unable to take, he lashes out and claws the boy in the face and runs off into the woods. The boy quickly alert all the locals at the festival and they all load up and go looking for him. Emil is chased by a dog but when he barks at him, the dog gets scared and runs away. Two men open fire in his direction but Emil manages to get away. He runs as fast as he can and just when he is about to be shot. Fix comes to the rescue and takes the man away. He kills the man and then flies into the air showing Emil where to go. As they cross a lake, men start firing into the sky and catch Fix. Emil immediately rushes over to him and Fix is badly injured. Unfortunately, he dies in Emil's arms but he has no choice but to keep moving. Moments later, Francois and the rest of the men come across Fix's body but no sign of Emil. Over the next few days he stays hidden in the forest and eats fruit or anything else he can find. He begins changing more into a mutant and he climbs trees and starts howling out loudly. That night there is a storm, he takes shelter in a cave when suddenly, he sees a bear coming towards him. That's when he realizes it is his mother, emotions take over him and they rub their foreheads together. She leaves the cave and Emil follows her. There he is shocked to find hundreds of mutants all living together. As he is looking around in surprise, suddenly there are flares thrown into the forest and the military have arrived. They begin attacking the mutants and when some of them try to run away, they use their gadgets to make the piercing sound which hurts all the mutants' ears. The creatures all drop to the ground and are captured including Emil. Later at the police station, Francois convinces the police officer that his son was drunk and that's why he ended up at the forest. When Emil is asked to sign the release papers, he is unable to hold the pen and his hand keeps shaking. He accidentally rips the form and the policeman gives him another. Emil is unable to control himself and begins growling at him. The police officer realizes that he is a mutant and just when he is about to call for help, Francois knocks him out and they quickly leave. They get in their car and drive off, but soon they realize that they are being chased by police. Emil begins to panic but his father reassures him that he will not let any harm come to him. He puts his foot down and crashes through some barriers leading to the forest, Francois tells his son he loves him no matter what and tells him to go and be with his mother. We then see Emil running into the forest howling that he is finally free and the movie ends there. You guys are awesome if you have made it this far in the video. If you want to see more of such movie recaps, hit the subscribe button to become part of our movie family.